All right, Sketch Pet Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to be doing our final nail in the coffin to YouTube. And uh, we're going to discuss some things. So we'll be back. Who raised you? Oh my god. Uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves, you know? That's why they have parents. Oh, eat each other. What? Yo, I yeah, can't I understand it neither. I'm just ahead of it. All right, man. Sketchpad podcast. Uh make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. Um if you uh, you know, if you want to donate to the Sketchpad Links in the description. PayPal, Cash App. Thank y'all for y'all donations. And uh, I just want to shout out some people. We want to shout out some people. Yeah. Uh, first and foremost, um, this community of podcasting is, you know, is very spread out. It is a large community. And um, we didn't know how many other reactors, podcasters was watching as far as us going through our journey and as far as us going through our issues with YouTube at the moment. So we would like to give a big shout out to Riker Road and the cast and the uh, cave cast. Um, big shout out to the cave cast and Riker Road for, um, for like holding us down as far as uh, speaking about our issues with YouTube and uh, what's been going on. Uh, we never, we didn't realize how many people, I mean, we realized people are watching, but you know what I mean? We're like, one, we're, we're, we're a platform on the come up. So, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes like, you know, the bigger platforms, they don't really see, sometimes they might not see what's going on on the lower end of things. So for that, we are appreciative of that. We, we hope this generates some positivity and some sort of, you know, you know what I mean, um, following as far as like, you know, getting information on how to uh, combat with this issue because we know we're not the only ones affected. There's other ones out there that have been affected too. So we would like to personally shout you guys out. We appreciate it. Also, uh, we'd like to send an invite to you guys. If you want to come on the show, you know what I mean? Um, discuss this issue even further because there's a lot of things a lot of questions we have and um i'm pretty sure that you might be able to answer them for us so uh anyway salute to y'all we appreciate it you you a counselor <laughs> that, that, that was my job Yo, you oh, bro <laughs> 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 Give a uh, shout out, not a, a, a Martin Luther King speech. <laughs> hey man, you know, yo, I got, I got, I got. Listen, man, really appreciate it, man. <laughs> listen, really man, you. I'm gonna tell you one thing about you, boy. You, I know you a counselor. I can tell. <laughs> Could you, you don't want to offend anybody. You play one side, you play the other side. You like, well, wait, 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 let me tell you. Oh, hold up. <laughs> You're a oh, good man. dude, man. You're a good dude. <laughs> uh, oh, man, I just want to make sure everybody's recognized. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, so I kind of learned a long time ago, man. Don't leave nobody as far as, uh, you know, I mean, notoriety. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with it, man. I'm just, I'm just pulling your leg. Um, yeah, so, 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 yeah, let's get into this, man, because this is, this is, uh, this, this is some stuff here. So, um, before we get into that, yeah, we're gonna, um, as you can see, the people we shout out, go follow them. We put that, we put their, uh, we put their, uh, their YouTube pages right up on the screen. So, go follow them, man. 
You know what I mean? Tell them Sketchpad sent you. And you know what it is. So, um, you said you had to get something off your chest. Go ahead, yeah. do your thing. And then um, I'm going to uh, chime in after you're done. All right. So, um, I feel like, you know, uh, I haven't, well, I probably have, but to me, I haven't. So, I feel like I haven't been as transparent with our followers like I should have. You know what I mean? As far as like this whole podcasting thing and how it's changed our lives for the better. So I'm going to just give you guys some insight on everything and why, why I take this so serious, why my brother over there take this so serious, why we take this so serious in general, as far as what's going on with YouTube and how it's affected our channel. Um, for one, and you know, um, nobody's telling me to tell you guys this, by the way, nobody's saying this, but I feel as if like, you know, in order for the fans to get to know us better, you know, transparency is needed. So that's what I'm going to do, you know? So I'm gonna put myself out there, let y'all know just a little tidbit about me. All right, so there was a short stint of time where we took a break. I don't know if some of y'all remember this, that, that follow us, remember this. Like, there's a short stint where we took a break, and we was like, you know what I mean? We was cruising, so it really didn't affect us like that. But we took a break, like, maybe for, like, a few weeks. i say maybe, like, two, three weeks, something like that. Um, within that time frame, the reason why we had to take a break is because I had some personal issues. Um, the personal issues was that my mother passed away. My mother died from ovarian cancer. She had stage four cancer. Um, within that time frame, I was in a slump. My brother could tell you I was depressed. I didn't feel like doing nothing. I didn't feel like doing no music. I didn't feel like podcasts. I didn't feel like doing anything. And uh, what saved me and got me out of the, the, the depression was the podcasting because I knew I had to do something to get me out of this slump. The podcasting basically saved my life. You understand what I'm saying? It allowed me to express myself and voice my opinions in ways that I never been able to voice my opinions before. You know what I mean? And for what YouTube is doing, I take it very serious to the heart because like we had everything a lot of things involved within this podcast like you know what i mean like we really shot up very fast you know we put a time frame we played we had a time stamp with everything and like within that time stamp we told ourselves like if we don't get to this point we still go on podcast but we're going to put more emphasis in everything else and in less than this. We had no idea that this particular platform was going to skyrocket so fast. And that's why I'm so upset because like we worked so hard for that money. And like my bro said, that money might be small to you corporate people up there in YouTube but that money ain't small to us. Like I just, I just gave you, I just gave you a small tip pit of what happened to me and how this whole podcasting thing turned, turned everything around for me mentally, mentally, you understand? So what I'm saying is that even if you don't give a two cents about what we do as far as this podcast, right? At least give us what we rightfully deserve and what we rightfully worked for. You know, give us what we deserve because I don't feel like it's fair that we have to keep doing these videos to broadcast this to everybody just to get a response from y'all when clearly you guys are in control of this whole entire scenario. You guys can change everything just by doing what's right. If there's any person with morals that works in that office that sees what these content creators do, 
and see how this is being done and know it's not right, do something about it. Do something about it. Because stuff like this is changing people's lives. We really, really change a lot of people's lives, including ourselves. I can give you breakdown of stories of emails that we got from people we don't even know that emailed us, donated money to us. People talk to us like they've known us for like 20 something years. They just met us on this platform. So I'm asking you guys, what is the problem? What is the problem? You know, because you're really trying to hang us over here with a noose and we don't even know what's going on. And if it, this is about an opinion, about an artist or whatever, it's a free platform. We should be able to have opinions on everything. As long as we're not being disrespectful, we should be able to talk about whatever. We should not be censored because we have an opinion on certain things because I don't feel like that's fair. I don't feel like it's fair on us or anybody else that feels the same way. So I don't know, man. Like, I'm just like, you know, I just feel like I should just give that tidbit of information to anybody that will hear it with some common sense and logic and understand what this deal is, you know what I mean? And throw us, throw us a line or two, you know what I mean? Because this is crazy. That's it. All right. Hold on real quick. All right, yeah. Um, first of all, I want to say rest in peace to your mother. Um, it's a very, very uh, stressful thing to lose a loved one. I think people don't understand um, when you uh, lose somebody like your mother, that's that's irreplaceable. You can't even think of the pain that people would go through or something like that. Um, so it's a couple of things that uh, I need to say. Um, and don't take this. I don't want people to take this as I'm defending YouTube because I'm not. But it's a, it's a couple of things that I believe that need to be said. Um, one, YouTube is a conglomerate. It's a giant corporation. Even though me and him might have differences on this being a free platform, right? But at the same time, we have to understand that YouTube, YouTube is a platform that basically does what they want it's not right but there's nothing we can do about it only thing we can do well i'm not saying it's nothing we can do about it because obviously there's something you can do is bring awareness to it that's it because other than that it's really nothing you can do to a company like this besides bringing awareness and maybe our awareness may spark something where I don't know, content creators might leave YouTube or they might do something to affect them. But people got to understand this is YouTube started as a casual thing. It wasn't it wasn't a thing where it's it was a business. It wasn't a business. Now it's a business. So but I believe that the people, the over the tech overlords in YouTube or whoever they are, they still look at it as a business but for us they look at it as if it's a casual thing it's like oh you don't make money on youtube oh so what you get a regular job that's how they look at it and i think that that's wrong because people like us we're not a big channel we're still growing but you stunt our growth when you do things like this so as far as the money goes there's no way that our revenue should be taken from us because you say that we made a mistake. 
So even if we made a mistake, we still did the work. So if we did the work, then where's our money? You know what I'm saying? You put us in a partner program. We did. We comply to everything that y'all said. Everything y'all asked us for, we comply. As far as the AdSense goes, that's it's so convoluted. It's so diluted that you don't really even understand what's going on. It's so many different facets to it. So many different angles. You have to sign in here, sign in here, do this, click this, click that. You got to do this, do that. Instead of it being something simple. Like, why is it? Why does it have to be this complicated? And then here's the kicker. It's complicated, but then you can't even talk to somebody to fix the issue. So if the issue isn't us and the issue is y'all, how can we contact you about it? It's like you're talking to a, you're talking to a bot who doesn't even know what how to solve a problem it's like multiple choice this is the problem that you may run into but that's not the problem you have 10 different multiple choices on there none of them fits my problem so how are you going to fix my problem that's one two you get to the adsense right adsense has nothing to do with youtube even though it's a part of google but they say it has nothing to do with youtube so you have to go through youtube to get to AdSense. So you have to sign in, then create a whole nother account for your AdSense. My thing is, if you put us in a partner program, right? How come YouTube doesn't say, if you're in a partner program, you automatically have an AdSense. Here is your code. Why do they need to send it in the mail? You need to send a verification code in the mail knowing that the mail can get lost that doesn't make any sense so you send it in the mail so we don't get the verification code right how do you order another one they don't tell you they don't specify exactly how you order another verification code because giving you my information with my bank account that's not verification enough I gave you my bank account. You put money in my bank account. Well, one cent. That's verification that it's me. But you want me to wait for a code to come in the mail. Why? Then when we don't get the code, <laughs> we can't tell you because when we do tell you, you direct us to something else. Oh, you are verified. Well, we're not verified. We, we need a verification code, but you're verified. Well, we need the verification code to start getting paid from AdSense. But you have an AdSense already. You're verified. There's so many different angles and so many different things that has destroyed our channel when it comes to us making money. And it's messed up because we did a lot of work and a lot of people donated to us whether it's through cash app paypal i mean um and they, a lot of people would have gave us super chats gone so my question to whoever is watching because i know youtube is not watching you know youtube don't care they got billions of people on here they really don't care my question is, where did the money go? Who has that money? And, 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 and is this is this legal? Because I'm sure that we're not the only ones that this happened to. So is this legal? Because if it's illegal, then I mean, why is anybody doing anything about it? Mm -hmm. That's 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 all I'm saying, man. It's, it's crazy to me but um i think that uh this will be unless we do a show with someone else talking about this topic this probably be our last time talking about this you know what i'm saying until we actually get some results when it comes to this but as you can see 
we literally been throttled. We went from 30,000, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, all these views to now having less than 100, 200 views. Like, come on, man. If that's not obvious, I don't know what is. Like, what, like, I don't get it. Not to mention, not to mention they took away at least 50 or close to 90 some subscribers from our channel because I've been paying attention to the subs. We had close to 10,700. We was going closing in on 10,700 sub subscribers. Where the rest of the subscribers go? Where did the rest go? Because I ain't seen them. They, I literally checked the other day and I should have screenshotted it too. I literally checked the other day. We was at 10,675 sub sub subscribers. Where did the 75 subscribers go? Followers, if you were sub to us and you don't see us on your feed anymore, YouTube has subtracted you guys from our channel. 100% facts. Believe that YouTube, that happened to me before. I was sub to someone and I kept saying to myself, why isn't it like, like a month later? I'm like, why am I not seeing this person no more? And I'm seeing all this other stuff. Then I go, I, I put the name in, type the name in. And I go and it said that I was unsubscribed. I'm like, mm -hmm. I watch this guy every day. How am I, how am I unsubscribed? Mm -hmm. And it happened like three times. So y'all, before we get out of here, make sure if y'all subscribe to our channel, make sure you subscribe to it. You know what I'm saying? And all the people that are not subscribed, we would love for y'all to subscribe to this channel. If not, it's fine. Just watch the content and share it with your people. But YouTube do do that. So, but yeah, man. I mean, hopefully we'll we'll find some things out and um, things will be better for us. Uh, we ain't gonna stop this train going though. We gonna keep it going. All right, man. It's Cash Pad Podcast. See y'all. Peace. All right.